Everybody, it's Invicta. It's time to another Eden Run here, the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Tuesday, Mosh Pit. We did have another video crossing 3,000 likes, which now puts us only 17 away from the first Rebirth Reaction video, which I'm looking forward to. I know a lot of other people are as well, and hopefully you all enjoyed the videos over the weekend. I know a lot of people did go back and like those videos and also responded to comments. We still have new comments showing up under the questions of the episodes, even from a week ago. So thank you all very much. I promise you I'm still reading them, and I love all of the input. Future meme of the day slash artwork of the day brought to you by Xander Creeper one Title thread was Sinvicta Arc. I wor art I worked on my entire afternoon on. I hope you like it with a happy smiley face. And yeah, I do like the uh, shading on this one. It's pretty neat. I do think that um, the sort of blacked out look with the no flames behind the sides of there looks pretty neat. It's definitely a unique take on it. And uh, it, I dig it, you know. So thank you very much, Xander Creeper. Everyone who upvoted that one on the Invictus subreddit, remember, submit your memes of the day and artwork of the day over on the Invictus subreddit slash r slash Invicta. Today is going to be Jebby Northwestern 9, mate. Uh, we got Lil Monstro and uh, the Unicorn Stump, which I feel like we haven't had in a very long time. Lil Monstro, oh man, this 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 tears rate and shot speed. I'm I'm loving this one here. This is this is some good stuff. The little monster is a nice little follower that's going to do a volley of shotgun shell like shots, which is very, very neat. And it does a very good amount of damage. If you can land all, oh, it's apparently Curse the Maze. Uh, if you can land all the shots on the same target, you will be rewarded with a lot of damage on bosses, early game bosses, early game like one shots on like small enemies. It's very, very strong. And you know, the little, little monster deserves a little, he, he deserves a little praise, you know? He can carry pretty hard, especially if you get something like BFF. Uh, now, you all know that I'm not a huge, I'm not really a big follower build guy. I used to like the companions a long time ago, especially back in vanilla Isaac, I guess in like the Flash Isaac. But I since found like your reliance on them becomes a little, I don't know, it, it's a, God, that was the schmoove of all schmooves right there. It becomes a little laborious after a while having to deal with worrying about, you know, oh, my followers are out of position, blah, blah, blah. Speaking of getting another follower here, we get a little hushy. Now, this always comes up because inevitably someone in the comments is like, hang on a second now, buddy. Hang on. What kind of hack client you got going on here? That wasn't the room that you just exited from. Well, Cletus, this is how this is how the Curse of the Maze works. It works like this since, to my knowledge, after birth, if not even before that. Uh, if you ever get shuffled, even if you don't get shuffled, uh, you will see the map kind of change a little bit, and that's what just kind of happened. It's always hilarious seeing seeing someone's first reaction to seeing the uh, floors get shuffled, the rooms get shuffled. Very awesome upgrade there we get with Pentagram, as that's going to give us a huge amount of damage. I'm surprised that that shot even made it that far, Booter. Uh, we can get into the curse room for free, but we can't get out for free unless there's mobs in there that will give us a full charge. Okay, little hushy, I'm going to put you on a mission. Your your task, should you choose, choose to accept it, is to kill that Claudie. Okay, you failed horribly. I did it for you. What, what am I even hiring you for? You have nothing to say for yourself? All right, then, carry on. You almost, you almost made a play, Hushy. You almost made a big time play. Not quite, but you almost did. And almost, you know, almost doesn't cut it. The bomb here to check for the super, super secret room, which we do get along with this chest. We get the bomb back and a penny and a key. Uh, yeah, we can probably take this, but the problem here is that we do not have enough HP to take a Devil Deal safely without dying. Unless said Devil Deal gives me a uh, some kind of uh, HP upgrade. Oh, wow. This is a lot of bombs here. Get a couple of extra cents here. We also get tapeworm, which is going to give us a huge amount of range. I mean, we might as well take it. It's not going to. It's not going to hurt our run at all. And uh, we also get more than fifteen cents. So we've got a very good start here. We possibly start balling out of control early on if our shop is good, which of course it's not. Um, buy the soul heart here. If we do end up getting a devil deal. We can, we can take one Devil Deal item, unless if we go into the Curse Room or play this Judgment, which may pay out with an HP upgrade. We'll have to wait and find out here. Is, yep. 
It's definitely an item that exists in the Binding of Isaac Repentance. And going all the way back to the Binding of Isaac, the original. As we're getting rocking and rolling here, I'm going to go check out last week's question of the episode from the Mega Guppy episode. It was a very fun topic. A lot of people had fun with it. Technically speaking, we can go in the curse room, by the way, but okay. Uh, but yeah, so I asked, simply put, what is your most prolific, sla uh, quote, redemption item, which is the item that you used to hate and then like now you kind of vibe with, you kind of dig, you know, like an item that sort of like went from bad to being like, oh, wow, like this is actually like not too bad. And of course, we all we all have those, right? It was very interesting for me to read and uh, follow everyone's answers here dude the shot speed is making the clown physics even more clownier there we go we get another hp upgrade here we get d bizzle d d bizzle oh well, it's not gonna help us with our damage but it's at least he's, he'll help us with our life here Like I said, a lot of people had a lot of fun answering this question. Um, the most... Here's, here's the thing. We've had Tech X for a very, very, very... Uh, it's been very common lately with Tech X. If we don't get any kind of amazing devil deal here, or if we get like start getting getting rolled, I'll take Tech X. But there's uh, let's put it this way: there's no good reason not to take Tech X here. Okay, it is a Tech X is kind of wearing on me a little bit. Like it's just kind of like it, it's it's sort of like Brimstone away. Like Brimstone will always and forever be my my favorite item in, in Isaac, no matter what. Uh, but it does get a little boring to use after a while, you know. That was a snipe and a half there by that by that worm. So we'll see. Tech X is a maybe right now. It's a it's a maybe. It would make this run infinitely better for sure. But going back to it here, the most upvoted comment from last week's thread. Uh, the question was the most prolific redemption item, like I just got done talking about, was from CZH2432, uh, who said, Definitely glitched crown uh, allows you to essentially reroll items five times and you can take the best one for your build. And I totally agree with that. Glitched crown is, is it's one of those items that's super annoying to use. I guess. It's super annoying to use. Um, and if you use it poorly or if like you're just not like on the rhythm that day, then like, yeah, it becomes it becomes kind of a bummer. But the amount of avenues that Glitch Crown takes you through and can really open up for you is unparalleled just because of how many rerolls you get with them. So I definitely agree with the Glitch Crown. That's certainly one that I would uh, I would put on that list. The second most upvoted comment came in from I believe it was uh, Flashback 007 who said, I might actually get downvoted for this one. No, you won't. I might actually get downloaded for this one. Soy milk. Give me soy milk, and I can walk through almost any run, even with bad damage. And uh, I think soy milk was probably the number one most mentioned item there. I don't know how much influence I have over over people who answered because you know, obviously, if you see me with soy milk, you're gonna be like, oh, like this is like a done deal, like we're good. But those of you who recall, Soy Milk was not always the uh, the poster child for redemption items for me. Soy Milk is is just one of those things where, you know, I it was bad, it was good, it's bad, it's good. And look at the burst damage coming from Little Monstro. Just absolute shotgun blast. So good. Yeah, Soy Milk was probably the most number one mentioned item in that thread. I'll definitely feel you there. We get a range upgrade. That's just super duper great. Um, I think we got to take Tech X here. It just doesn't make sense to not take it. 
it just it's so much it's better for what we need and also the movement speed down from small rock is kind of influencing this a little bit i don't think yeah there's no way we're gonna get a mega chest open with two keys but what we can do is we can go in the curse room maybe get teleported to the devil deal possibly hey look at that we uh we actually will get out for free and we get punching bag punching bag just super great He's, he's just happy to be here, you know? I mean, Punching Bag will set us up for some pretty nice and gnarly Tech X shots, but largely forgettable item. Uh, and last but not least, uh, yeah, so Soy Milk definitely got a lot of a lot of love. And last but not least, we actually had a tie for the third most upvoted comments uh, here. It was from Grim Reaper 451 who said, Soy Milk used to hate it, but with the right item, it's pretty good. And then we also had Zombie674 who said, Twisted Pear. It said twisted pair for me the amount of synergies and amount of tears you get is worthwhile um this one kind of confused me though because it's not really a redemption item unless if you thought for some reason that twisted pair was bad and now you think it's good i think they may have misunderstood the question a little bit but it, it got upvoted so there you go <laughs> uh for me personally if it's not soy milk if i can't mention either soy milk or glitch crown because i do like glitch crown i think that it is a it makes your runs better I think that the item that stands out to me the most is still M. Um, a pretty predictable answer because, I mean, people who've been watching me for a while, you know that, like, I've just done a full 180 on M. And I think that M is is legitimately one of the strongest items in the game, even though it's just a trinket. It's still an item. And I do think that it just... It, it gives you... When you're talking about opportunities, right... Yes, it can screw up and give you, like, some bad stuff that you have to go through, like, you know, Plan C or, you know, a D4 or D100, something like that. But there are ways to mitigate that risk as well. And you also don't have to use that space item. You can just simply get another one if you can. Um, unless it's, like, late game, then, like, you don't really have a choice. But still, the amount of possibilities that M opens up for you is just extraordinarily awesome. Uh, being able to roll into any space bar item from any space bar item is pretty insane we've seen we, we've seen me do some pretty some pretty bonkers things with him um everything from death certificate to genesis to re-rolling a really bad run i mean we, you've seen it all here right so i think that m is still my most prolific redemption item but with honorable mention going to certainly soy milk definitely libra as well and uh, Glitch Crown, I was, I'll say, but Soy Milk is probably at the top there, other than M. Yeah, I mean, we guess we could buy a Soul Heart. We don't really have to with D Bizzle being here. Uh, hey, all right. So we can take the Stars card now. Oh, baby. We're gonna take, we're gonna take Mutant Spider. Just gonna give us four Tech X shots to, to deal with now. It does absolutely obliterate our tears rate, but we will, in turn, obliterate the game's face. There you go, punching bag. No, no, punching bag is over. Punching bag's over here, boys. There you go. So we can actually use this mini charge and go into and out of the curse room, even if there's no combat in here, because. Yeah, because we were fast enough to get through there, so. And that's good, because there was nothing in there for us to even care about. Good, 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 good. This is, this is bueno. This is muy bueno. Uh, secret room's probably there. It is. Two keys. Uh, we've already blown up a keeper. Checking it for nickels or anything like that. Secret room is there. It's either the left or the right wall in that room, obviously, but you know. The 50 50 guess. There's a tinted rock in here as well, right there. And we get a tears up, which is great. It's not a huge tears up, but it's certainly a tears up. Uh, we can also also use the we can use the um, unicorn stump here to get us maybe a couple extra soul hearts or even an angel deal chance.
or nothing. Fine too. All right. We will go all the way back into the shop and get our Emperor card and head on out of here. Yeah, between the overlapping quad shots and the monstros, the mini, the, the little monstros uh, volley, we're doing lots of burst damage as soon as we get into the room, to any room really. So we can, unless if it's a mini boss, we can basically just one shot merc anything that we see and the game just has no recourse for it. Like it just, it just simply dies. We don't even need this. Uh, we don't need tapeworm anymore. We got plenty of range thanks to mom's lipstick. Yeah, slow down a little bit here. Maybe we can try to get boss rush. We'll see. Well, if anything, we get to boss rush a lot sooner. You get another tears up and shot speed up. And uh, we get his tail. And hey, goat head. You know what? I'm fine with that. All right. Well, at least we don't have to worry about uh, curse of the uh, curse of blind here. And we do get Guppy's paw for free. So out of nowhere, we just get two or three Guppy just randomly here, uh, and I'll take it. I ain't gonna poo-poo that. So now is when we need a big time player of a boss rush because we skipped an entire floor to get here sooner, just to guarantee that we're gonna get the boss rush. Like this is a this is a hundred percent guarantee. Carry card here from D Bizzle. Thank you very much. Just need a way to get out of the boss boss rush room now. This is your chance. This is your chance, boss rush. Prove everybody wrong. You got a lot of haters out there. I know the feeling. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't hit any of the fires. Trust me, you got a lot of haters out there, boss rush. But I'm still on your side. Your your boy Sinvictus still on your side. All right, me and you are gonna make this. However. You make it difficult to root for you whenever you don't give us good items, all right? You got a lot of people saying you're not worth the time. Now's when we got to prove them wrong, all right? Show them that you're still a commodity in any run. Show them that you're still worth going for. Don't make me look like an idiot. I already do that plenty myself. I don't need your help. And Guppy here would definitely be nice. And we get Lusty Blood, which is very nice. Give us damage every time we kill an enemy. Oh, baby. Now, this does knock down our tears rate again by a whole lot, but good lord, our damage just got supercharged. Getting an Eve's Mascara here is pretty pog. And we get Contract from below, which is also pog. I do find it hilarious that the term pog champ and poggers has now become like a boomer term almost. I think it is quite funny. I knew this the second that I heard a, a Snickers commercial say poggers, I knew it was over. We, we lost we lost a good one, boys and girls. Lost a, we, we lost a real one. When the main the mainstream media gets gets a hold of like popular terms it's just over check out this vault since we have plenty of time here and maggie's faith is actually kind of great here too double mimic chest so maggie's faith is going to give us some hp that we can use to uh fuel some Feel some early possible, or not early, but I mean, mid to late game devil deals. Could take a golden pill, or we could not. Take our chariot card. Man, what a floor. A great boss rush.
And what's even greater about this is that because we have lusty blood, our damage is going to go through the roof whenever we start killing things. Thanks to Ease Mascara here. So we're going to scale really, really, really well. Yeah, we just one shot Pink Widow. Maggie's Faith, by the way, is going to give us an eternal heart every time we go to a new floor. Uh, I also have to remind myself that we have, we do have Guppy's Tail, so I need to stop just taking every single, every single chest that we see willy nilly. Very fortunate with these curse rooms having, uh, having combat in there. I hate you, Pill. I'm gonna lose my chariot card in case we do. I mean, we can play this demon judgment here. The only thing that's annoying is that we're going to have to use the unicorn stump every single time we want to go play him. Which means we're not gonna have enough time to get a full a full list here, a full hit. Okay. But at least it didn't cost us anything. So I guess the ends don't really justify the means there because we didn't get anything, but. We did lose a chariot card that I took a, a hit for, technically. So technically speaking, we did lose a, a soul heart. We want to get real technical about it. That the 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 way that the do that either. The way that the angle of the globins get shot out from the giant globin is quite scattered. Also, I'm pretty sure they're going after uh, scapegoats. We just need to stay away from scapegoat. I mean, that's the whole point of the item anyway. Very fortunate that we did get another tears up, even though, again, Squeezy's not going to do much because we have quad shot and tech X. If we get 2020, you never know. So that was bloat firing at uh, firing after uh, scapegoat. The Krampus is right now. Well, the coal is absolutely huge for our damage, and uh, man, we are we are rocking and rolling. Really, Slight misplay there. I could have used, I could have queued up Unicorn Stump before uh, the room ended, and we would have gotten a full charge to where I can get into and out of the curse room for free. Slight little misplay. I'm not going to beat myself up for it. That one guy in the comment section probably will, but you know we don't care about that one guy. The room has to be here. Okay. Some more money here. Not that it really does anything for us. We do want the key, of course. We are still handicapped. Because of the acquisition in Guppy's tail. That was, just, that was just a really super satisfying room to be in. Ebizzle doing a great job to keep us going with this HP. Maybe we can play a couple of these here for maybe some extra keys. Never really play the arcades, so some people have said that I need to utilize them a little bit more, which may be the case, but I argue that in most times, if not every single time I've skipped the arcade, it probably didn't make a difference in the outcome of the, of the run. <laughs> Pretty sure that not wasting everyone's time for five minutes doing this is, uh, is worth not having any sort of impact on the run in the, on the hole here. I will use a bomb because they do tend to drop keys. Unless they don't. I keep I keep faking myself out thinking that we have host hat. I don't know why. I'm like, oh I've got I've got explosion immunity, but we don't. Oh, don't get into bad habits there. But the damage here absolutely disgusting. Disgusting damage here. And we get a non-devil deal, devil deal, which gives us a whole lot of nothing. All right. Thank you, Stanley. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.
I'm gonna figure out we have enough HP to where we can afford to do that, but really don't want to be doing that too often. Was that a tenant rock in there? It was not a tenant rock in there. I'm gonna hold on to the Joker card just in case. Maybe we can use it on the next floor, obviously, but we need to. There's a tenant rock. We need to conserve our keys as much as possible here. Kind of have to. We're looking for Guppy. That was a super delayed Mega Troll Bomb. Just look at the chunkage. I mean, just look at it. It's just so much damage. Another Tenant Rock. Man, oh man. Tenant Rocks have been flowing. I look at use of movement speed. That's one of the stats we've just not had a lot of here on this run. Even after getting speedball, movement speed is still quite doo doo. Will not be tempted by your foul golden chess game. And we can we we can one and two shot blorbs. You know that we're in business. This is this is definitely we've been giving the giving the game the business the entire run here. Super secret room is definitely in that room. Hundred percent because I know I've seen this template a million billion times, and the super secret room always never fails to impress. There you go. It's time to bomb so you can take care of all the bomb lamprey flies, and also get some nice cheeky little damage there on uh, fallen. I don't know why Stanley was coming for us. Maybe he's not fooled by the scapegoat. Definitely not fooled. He's also definitely not alive anymore because we just absolute beast moded him. All right, we are in the dark room. Um... No guppy item, unless if we somehow get a guppy item here with the Joker card, which we didn't. We got Abba Dabba Ding Dong. Abba Dabba Ding Dong is going to give us a nice little Abba Dabba damage up. We also got Pogatory. Uh, sulfur. We don't really need sulfur, to be honest. Like, yeah, we could take it against Lamb, but like, we. It's not going to change our damage a whole lot. We had Brimstone Tears versus Tech X Tears. Our Tech X Tears are already doing enough work here. Um, get Bird's Eye and Chocolate Milk. Chocolate Milk's not really going to do anything for us either. It gives us a bigger Tears radius and maybe a little bit of a Tears up. Poof, man, that is... Now, with this range and also with uh, Lump of Coal, this is just brutality. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying that it was because of boss rush. I'm just saying we got real, we got a whole lot stronger after boss rush. We were already strong though in this run. So it's a little bit disingenuous to say, but I'm just, say, I'm just saying, man, I'm just saying boss rush is still kind of worth it. Sometimes I will admit that I've been negative on boss rush before. I do think that the boss rush pool should be at a premium, especially given how like dangerous and how hard it is to make sometimes on runs. In particular, it should be it should be as rewarding, right? Equal equal amounts of effort, equal amounts of reward. But we all know that's not how how Isaac operates. You expect an equal amount of effort to reward ratio in this game? Well, you're you're gonna be you're barking up the wrong tree there, Mister. God. And we have done a full clear. All right. Right. How does he do it? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, my God. Yep, there it is. There's the mythical, legendary, premium gourmet Invicta Full Clear. Bird's eye is just going to roasty toasty things, and yeah, we're we're doing it. It's not just a meme for no reason at all. When we say full clear, we mean full clear by God.
Up a bomb here. We get SMB super fan. We are just one tapping everything right now. A uh, contract from below is also doing a, a bang up job of giving us some extra chests and extra keys and stuff when we need them. You can barely tell that we even have Guppy's tail at this point. That is some chunky, chunky damage. This has a po poison bomb here. And that's going to be it for Lamb. I did briefly pop the unicorn stump just because I don't I don't want to give Lamb the satisfa satisfaction of hitting us. Not going to happen, Lamb. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, we'll do a victory lap. We haven't done one in a little bit. By a little bit, I mean like a day. See, day is going to be Lima, Juliet, 9-2. Bravo Echo Sierra Gaul or Sierra uh, Quebec. Quebec, yeah. Got a floor one sack room here. And obviously we're just going to wreck house on everything in the game because we just are unkillable. You just have so much damage that uh, the game just has no choice. And no or no no chance either. We get holy mantle in there, which I'm going to pass on because we need to go find our item room, which is right now. And we get the swarm. Yelzebub wouldn't be too bad. This is Curse of the Maze. You just saw the Soul Heart move up there. Those of you who are paying keen attention to the, uh, to the map. Get ourselves Holy Mantle. If you don't know why that item's called Holy Mantle and not Marrow, well, you probably are a new subscriber. <laughs> Which is not a bad thing, but you should ask the veterans of the Mosh Pit exactly why. They will tell you. Except for those who are like, oh my god, we're still talking about this. Then, like, you know, it's whatever. Uh, study some Yaves. Take an Ankh just in case, I guess, if something major happens. Cute game. That was very cute. Some people ask me how the coin collecting is coming along, and the answer to that is it's not. Um, don't really, I'm not, not, not really interested in coins anymore. I kind of, I had a negative experience dealing with some coin dealers, and uh, they were. It's. I, I don't think it's for me. I think I'm going to stay in my own lane and stick with Pokemon cards. We're actually starting to get to the point where we don't need uh, Maggie's faith anymore. I think we're good on that. I want to buy one more key though because we have been using some keys yeah it's it's not uh it's not like it's not every coin dealer but uh i i will say that on <laughs> let's just put it this way if you're if you're buying if you're buying stuff on whatnot be careful There are some there are some super shady things that go on on that website. He says as he as he's about to launch his what's not, or what's not what not uh, store. I am planning on probably moving uh, some of the Pokemon stuff over there, migrate it from Twitch, um, because people some people have been have been wanting more gaming stuff, which I I totally get. But like I've been having fun doing Pokemon breaks, but it does it does get a little bit confusing. Uh, when people are primarily associating you with gaming and all of a sudden they just see you open Pokemon cards for like three hours, it, it gets, it gets a little, it gets a little, a little hectic. Um, but there's a, there's a lot of stuff that goes on and whatnot that I'm just not down with. If you ever, those of you who are unfamiliar with whatnot it is a, it's a platform that does live auctions and it's not really regulated like at all. <laughs> um, there's a lot of there's a lot of bull crap that goes on over there. Like you see people basically running casinos over there and it's kind of it it's kind of grody. Um I mean like they they you got people doing like mystery bags and like bingo games and all the I mean it really is like a casino over there. And even though whatnot claims to have policies against it, 
they do nothing to enforce it. Like, absolutely nothing. If if they do do something, it's because a YouTuber made a negative, like a negative, uh, a negative post about it and brought it like mass attention to it. Um, but that's really the only time that whatnot seems to care about enforcing their own policies. And for coins in particular, I will say that coin whatnot is crazy, man. Like there's, they've got like Pokemon whatnot's crazy. Sports card whatnot is definitely crazy too. Again, with all the bull crap mystery bags and everything, but there's, there's a lot of BS that goes on on coins and whatnot. Again, I'm talking, I'm talking from experience. So definitely be careful on that side. Now that's not saying there aren't good sellers. I do like some of the sellers over there. Use this freaking shadow. Uh, yeah, might as well take duality. I mean, we've got like every devil deal item that we would want other than getting guppy, of course. I have no keys. You know what? That's fine. No keys, no problem. I'm going to have Maw the Void. Not that we really needed anything else on this run, but, you know, it's nice to have Maw the Void. Maw the Vizoid. You get some, you get some Yabes up in here, though. Of course, Leviathan did give us flying and a, uh, doodle. Now, that's the second time you've done that game where you put a golden chest right next to me and got done clearing a room. I expect to be, I, I expect my key to be paid in full here. You get a tears up there thanks to the consolation prize randomly showing up. Yeah, there are some there are some good sellers over there and whatnot. Just they're very, very few and far between. This is gonna be just stupid damage. Anything that is close to us will automatically just be removed from existence. Like it's gonna be it's gonna be like Sissy's boyfriends all over again. And I don't, did I, I don't remember because uh, when, as soon as I'm done recording a video, like that's just it. My memory is gone. I don't remember if I updated the YouTube mosh pit. I know I updated the Twitch mosh pit on the developments of little sissy, like the real life little sissy. But I don't remember if I, I don't recall if I did it for y'all. Well, in case of it, in case if I did, first off, I apologize for repeating myself. Secondly, if I didn't. Uh, newsflash, Little Sissy is back. The Little Sissy is back. I found her in a corner of the dining room of all places. And I just could not believe it. I, I could not believe my eyes when I saw her. I was like, oh my gosh, it's it's Sissy. How in the world did you get over here? <laughs> like, that's the first thing. I didn't say it out loud because I, you know, I was by myself, obviously. But, like, in my brain, I was like, oh my gosh, how, how in the world did you get over here? She somehow migrated all the way from my office. Well, she started in the foyer of the house and then went to the office, which has been well documented. Uh, then she briefly went back to her little corner in the in the entryway of the house. And then she was just gone. That was it. She she disappeared for like a what a month or something like that. And now all of a sudden I find her when I was when I was vacuuming in the uh, when I was vacuuming the house and and got to the Got to the dining room i look in the corner and she's just there she she is she's picked up shop and has moved into a a bigger bigger area safer area with a lot less traffic because really the only person that goes over there is me uh whenever i'm eating and even then like she's tucked away in the corner and i let everyone know on twitter and everyone just lost it like yeah, they're like oh it's the return of sissy like you know so happy that she's back and i am happy that she's back i'm i'm thrilled as the Brits would say, I'm chuffed to bits. I think the I think the Aussies say that too. I couldn't believe it. So I was like, oh my gosh, like our our little our little household family is, is back together. She's she's paying rent again. I have not seen her kill any flies or giant wolf spiders, but she's got stuff in her web, so I know that she's eaten. She hasn't really grown a whole lot. But she's still she's still sissy. And if you if you want to see her, and trust me, I did a I did a pattern comparison on her uh, on like her, her her belly or 
or back or whatever. Like it's just a common brown house spider that we have down here, but it's it's a hundred percent her. Um, it's the same size as, as Sissy. It's the same marking, same everything. And I was just, I was floored. I was like, this is this is amazing. That mega troll bomb somehow traveled all that way, huh? Okay. Okay, game. Uh, we need the full card here. Yeah. If we do that, let's go check out the, uh, yeah, the secret room. Yeah. Yeah. So little sissy's back. Back and she's, she's just as normal as ever. Case of clubs in case. And let's go see old beastie. We haven't fought beastie in a little bit. And curse the lost. So once again, we are not going to get Guppy, but that's, uh, we weren't expecting Guppy at this point. Not that we need Guppy anyway, of course, but it would have been nice. Okay, there we go. There it is. There is the mythical. This is now the the ultra mythical legendary Sinvicta full clear. Going into every single dead end with Curse of the Lost this time. Now, that's difficult to do. You won't find too many people doing that. Not on, not on the regular that I do. You continue to see right here. It really is astounding. You just need to get away from Scapegoat. Like, just stay away from him. Not going to go in the item room here because there's no reason to go in there. We can go see what's inside the item room once we go to the Ascent. We can't go into the shop again, so. I mean, I guess battery. We have nothing else to spend our money on, so. Of course, Nun's Habit's going to be great for Beastie in case we do take damage. We can... Hey, look at that. We got Guppy. Wow, that's two random Guppy items we got without having a devil deal. Spent it. it's that is pretty Just bueno. Yeah, I posted pictures of little sissy on my Twitter. Or my ex, I guess, if you if you're into that sort of thing. You're just going to absolutely raffle stomp. Entire run here. Old BC. Like, our damage is just sick, nasty, crazy. I mean, we're sitting at 74 being buffed by the Succubus Aura, which I didn't even talk about picking up Succubus because I was ranting about whatnot. Yeah, shut up, Maggie. We can take the Strength card. It is going to ruin our negative uh, Necronomicon of, um, effect, but it does give us a lot more damage. I remember, we're scaling really, really crazy with uh, Ease Mascara and now Proptosis. So our damage is just brutal here. Get this item room. It's going to be Mystery Sack. Heart there from Serpent's Kiss. Appreciate that, Serpent's Kiss. Yeah, it's just good to just get out of these rooms before those shots can take effect Those from the super mega worms. Very annoying to dodge. It's sometimes dangerous, but obviously with the amount of HP we have, we have nothing to worry about here. You know, could I play this a little bit better? Yeah, we could let D-Bizzle pick up everything and, you know, give us possibly a little bit more HP, but, I mean, come on. Like, we're, we're, we've got the nail. We don't need any extra damage here. Hey, you know what? I will take that. No, no, I won't. Faith card's still better for us because we scale. Scale, scale, scale.
I mean, just going into every single room and just, just blowing up the world is just too satisfying. I'm curious to see what this room or what this run would have looked like had we not picked. Um, yeah, there's a bomb rock there. Had we not picked up Tech X, I think we still would have had a very dominant run, just maybe not to this extent until we got Maw the Void, which wasn't until we got to the Victory Lab anyway. Maw the Void is just ripping here. And we don't even really need D Bizzle. So we did great here with, uh, you know, I mean, this, this run from the get go was really, really strong, of course. Getting Guppy just sends it over the top, but it highlights how great Tech X is at scaling with damage. And I mean, I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. Boss Rush, pretty use, pretty useful for this run. Yeah, I know that's a very small sample size because we actually did have finally a good boss rush. I'm just, I'm just trying to play devil's advocate. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a big, huge boss rush lover. Um. But when it works out, it feels great, man. And it definitely worked out here. Oh my gosh. Proptos is just, just devoured famine there. Pestilence just gets eaten as well because of quad shot Proptosis, Tech X and Maw the Void Guppy. I mean, this is just, th this isn't even fair at this point. Yeah, he's already dead. Like Maw, like Beastie is not going to live through like she won't even get across the screen like she's dead so thank you for watching everybody hope you hopefully you enjoyed this awesome run really really strong from top to bottom of course post your comments down below for the question of the episode which in this case is going to be what is your take on tech x do you find it boring do you find it fun is it a must-have on every single item uh, or every single run or is it an item that you kind of give pause to just in case things get a little bit boring or too samey post them in the comments down below i'd love to hear your thoughts on it and thank you for liking commenting and subscribing have a great start your tuesday here let's get this video over 3,000 likes so we can keep on going with the like street counter as always i will see you all next time until then so long everybody Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Picasso, Julian LaFond, and Railgun. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com slash Sinvicta.